And hello once again everybody, I am Steve from Think Save Retire and in this video I'm going to show you how I create these headline images that go out with every one of my blog posts now. And I'm going to use Photoshop CC as well as the Pixabay uh, free image service. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag uh, Safari out of the way so you can see the Photoshop CC interface. Now if you're not familiar with uh, Photoshop, here on the right hand side are all my layers. So what, what I do is I've designed a template file to serve as my headline template graphic. So I will use this graphic for every one of my blog posts. And what I'll do is I'll simply change out the background image, change this text, change this text here on the right. Um, and I, I will do that via the layers here on the right hand side. So for example, if I select layer one, which is the very bottom layer and, and my background image, and then select the selection tool here on the, on the left, as you can see, I can move just the background layer in this graphic. Or if I select layer two, which is this black bar, I can also move just that around. So I have pretty infinite control over all the elements on this, on this graphic template, which makes it for a good template. So I'm changing uh, the, the material, the content of this headline image uh, with every blog post as, as appropriate based on wh whatever it is I'm writing about. So let's say I'm writing about, I don't know, cats, about how soft and furry they are or about how they give you the, the death stare. So the first thing I, I would like to do is change this background image so it's not of a sunset, but it's of naturally a cat. So what I will do is I will first go to Pixabay. So let me drag Safari back over here and go over here to Pixabay. And I happen to have a cat photo all, already uh, prepared for us. But if we didn't have that, which most of us probably won't, uh, we will go to the pixabay.com website and search for whatever it is you want to find an image of. In my case, it's a cat. And here on the left is the cat that I had that I had selected. But as you can see, there are plenty of options. That's a that's kind of a creepy looking cat there. But anyway, there there are plenty of options here to choose from. And Pixabay has a good number of images. So unless you're looking for something very weird or specific, you're probably going to find some kind of an image that's that's right for you. So I I want this image. So I I simply select that. And what I'll do is I will click once on the image itself and click free download. And here we have some options. We have a small image here, 640 by 475, and then the original image, which is, which is huge and almost three megabytes. So my headline graphics that I publish are 700 pixels wide by 400 pixels in height. So I want a background image that's at least that big but it certainly doesn't have to be 3359 by 2497 or 19, uh, 1920 by 1427. I usually pick the medium size image unless this is too small for the graphic that, that I'm working with. So it needs to be at least as big as the headline template. So I'm going to select M for medium and click the download button and it has been downloaded. So let me drag Safari out of the way here. Now we're back within Photoshop, and I'm going to bring up uh, Windows uh, Mac Finder, rather, and I will find the image that we just downloaded, which is right here, and I'm going to drag this up into a new image within Photoshop. So from here, we just need to get this cat image as the background here in this graphic, in this headline template. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this, this image a little bit. Um, I can bring it down to exactly 700, but I want some play to the image, and I'll, I'll show you how that works. So I'm just going to bring it down to 800 pixels by 594. So this image is going to be physically bigger than this template, but again, that's okay. I'll show you how, how that works. So what I'm going to do is select Command A to highlight the entire image, and then Command C to copy it. I'm going to come back over here to our template, click layer one here. So I'm starting from that point and I'm going to um, hit command V and Photoshop will automatically create a new layer for us, which is on top of layer one. So layer three will be the, vi uh, the visible layer, layer one will, will not. And as you can see, the cat, it has indeed replaced our sunset as the background image. 
So with layer three selected and then our selection tool here on the left selected, I can then move around this, this CAD image on, um, on our template. And this is why I did not resize it exactly to 700 pixels wide by 400 pixels high, because then I couldn't move this, this image around and still have content, because it would be the exact same size as my template. So I like to play with the image a little bit and make sure that I get to move it around and place it exactly as I want it. So that looks pretty good right there. But my cat, my cat uh, blog post is not going to be titled How to ER, so I need to change that. So the first thing I need to do is go over here to the right and select the How to ER layer so I can start editing it. So over here on the right, How to ER, I've, I've selected that just by clicking once and then clicking the, the text tool here on the left. And I'm simply going to click, hold, and highlight this text. And I'm, gonna, and I'm going to simply type whatever my new blog post is. And I'll just do cat blog. For the purposes of demonstration, this doesn't have to be all that, all that slick. I'm just going to use a temporary title there that will get us through. And as you can see, as you move this around, Photoshop likes to be helpful. As you can see, the purple line that kind of helps you to align this text relative to some, some of the other text that, that's, on the, that, that's on the graphic. So if I want it aligned up um, along the lines of, of the very top of this five, as you can see, that purple line lets me do that. I can line it right up along this black box too, but I'm just going to align it so it's centered horizontal, or vertically rather, with this five. So I have cat blog. So now I probably want to change this text too. And an easy way, in, it, instead of modifying each text uh, layer separately, as you can see, they are separate layers. What I'll probably end up doing instead is just click, uh, clicking on five, which is this guy, and then also um, how do how how you can do it too um, by simply selecting Shift. And now all of my layers here on the right are selected, and I can click the little trash can here on the on the right and then everything is blank and ready for me to go so uh, if I reselect the type tool here on the on the left and click here within the black box I can start typing whatever it is I want to say there we go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Stretch this out a little bit here on the right. All kinds of different Photoshop customizations with text. So I'm not going to come up with, with something creative because, quite frankly, I'm not a very creative person. But I think this demonstrates how I work with this headline image. It all comes down to using a template first and then changing around the elements so it works for me in respect to our new blog post. So that's it. I hope you, you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. That's how I work my headline image workflow with each new blog post. Thanks for watching.